Hello everyone, this is Dr. Anna Pore. This is our last coffee chat of the month of May. It's been um, a terrific month that has kept us busy with full skin checks that we have offered to the community and to our patients, emphasizing the focus of the month on diagnosis and treatment of skin cancer. We have started the month uh, with discussion about the diagnostic features, the need for routine skin checks, and we talked about one of the common surgical approaches, most surgery. We then chatted about sun protection, sun protective clothing. You can find lots of information on um, our website and our social media sites. Last week, we touched upon SRT or superficial radiotherapy, another great therapeutic option for skin cancer. I'd like to finish this month to um, foc with focusing on treatment of actinic keratosis, very common precancerous skin lesions that affect many, many of our patients. The um, uh, 60 million American diagnosis is quite commonly quoted in literature. Every year we see patients that present with these small precancerous red little scaly patches that require treatment. If not treated, some of them, many of them can then develop into skin cancers like a squamous cell carcinoma. In clinic, we treat these lesions with liquid nitrogen. Cryotherapy has been around for quite a while and it's quite effective. Some patients will be recommended topical regimens with um, many different topicals, for example, 5-fluorouracil, a chemotherapeutic agent that can be quite effective. Many of those, unfortunately, require several weeks of application and quite a bit of downtime. We do utilize chemical peels, lasers, as part of the technologies that we use for treatment of actinic keratosis. But one of the common treatments that's been recommended for over a decade is photodynamic therapy. I have asked one of our senior physician assistant, Jennifer Avagliani, to talk about this technology and walk you through a treatment. Thank you for joining us this month. Please refer to the previous posts and um, we hope that we see you for at least your once a year skin check. Hi, I'm Jennifer Avaliani. I'm one of the physician assistants at Dermatology Consultants. As many of you are aware, May is Melanoma Awareness Month. So we are trying to focus on different procedures, different things that we do here at Dermatology Consultants to fight off melanoma or to catch things before they progress. One of the things that we do, and we use a lot of it here, is PDT, or photodynamic therapy. PDT, we use a lot of blue light or red light, is a way to treat pre-cancer sun damage. PDT treats actinic keratoses. Actinic keratoses are pre-squamous cell carcinoma, which is a sun-triggered skin cancer. So if you can get rid of the pre-cancerous lesions, then you don't have to worry about the squamous cell, the full-blown skin cancer. PDT is done here in the office. You come in and we apply an acid called Lebulon. That acid soaks in, typically it's a two-hour incubation. And then after the two-hour incubation, we put you under the blue light for 10 minutes. That blue light doesn't touch your skin, it sits over your skin, but that blue light activates that acid and it treats pre-cancer sun damage. Insurance covers it, and you actually also get some added benefits of anti-aging, but it is a covered expense because it's treating pre-cancer sun damage. There is a little bit of downtime after PDT. It's kind of like a sunburn afterwards. So you're pink, you're a little inflamed, and you can't get intense light. So you have to be really careful of outdoor natural sunlight and even intense indoor light for about three to four days. You moisturize really well, and then when it heals, you get beautiful results. And again, it's treating pre-cancer sun damage. 